hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i remain your lovely host grace Odoma. hmm how have you all been doing i know i've been the most annoying host on this space right i know some persons even feel like chasing me away like this one is so inconsistent oh i know so well i had to take this holiday because it was beneficial to me at some point so i just went off cool my head nothing happened to me actually nothing i just went off cool my head and here i am i am back with you guys and I promise that this time around we're going to be doing so many things together, like better. You know, this thing I do here, I love it. Like, I love it because I'm a chatterbox. So, this is like an opportunity for me to showcase. Yeah, so let's just go straight to the point. Today, we'll be talking about, uh, you know, a very simple topic. I made it simple because I just don't want, you know, something sounding complicated. Because I want you, my listener or my viewer, to also drop your comments in the comment section now i want to put it out like a question can you be able to date your ex your 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 sister your brother or a friend's ex let me put it to the layman like can you date your sister your brother or a friend's ex now before i start i'm going to put it straight to you like uh you know the family part of it imagine a spouse like um a spouse dying or something and we say this spouse was related in fact the spouse that died now is uh let's say is your older sister god forbid but definitely we all die so let's not shy away from it the person that died is actually said to be your your sister or your sister either your younger or older sister now you find the spouse coming to your household the same person Telling you that this time around A is gone and I would like to marry you B. How would you feel? That's why I, I'm, I'm trying to analyze it from the point of you know marriage. For relationship, you know, we are all people's exes, except for some persons who were lucky to just come out, start off a relationship and they enter. But if it is breakfast in a national week, it will reach everybody. So, but apart from that, think about it this way, like logically, this person has been to your family before. There was a wine carrying ceremony. There was a marriage that took place you've already be began to call this person our brother our brother in law then all of a sudden your sister died then brother is now coming to say it is b that he wants how would you feel so that was why i had to start from the family setting for me i wouldn't want to condone such because like they always say there are many fishes where in the ocean so if they we actually have many fishes in the ocean and you think about it this way and you're coming there first thing that will come to my mind is is it that you were actually eyeing me when my sister was still alive because you know some people do this uh, wrong mindset of how do they even put it like i see the image of your sister in you you look like your sister you guys talk the same way you walk the same way so i for once if god forbid it won't even happen i find myself in such position this is trying to tell you that it is not me you love that's what i'll conclude you don't love me you just want a reflection of my sister in that same house that you belong and for that there is already fire on the mount and you must run because definitely so many things are going to be involved first of all i do something a little bit you know off a uh, balance you refer me to my sister you'll be like your sister was better than this she used to do this but i am not my sister my behavior and my sister's behavior is not the same now, I am an African, a typical African, and if I relate this to my culture, to me, I feel it's totally bad because you can't be coming to my house and they, they, they are like, you know, you know, religious-wise, biblically, it might be true, but I don't like it. I wouldn't condone it, and we don't even pray for such. Now, if we come to, you know, the aspect of friendship, so many disadvantages to it. Imagine you being best friends, then all of a sudden, Timothy let go of uh, Chiwendu and uh, esther happened to be the best friend of chiwendu now chiwendu is off the picture and collins or timothy or whoever his name is now wants to start dating uh dating this other girl who happened to be the best friend of his ex so many things will come in place there must be chaos whether you like it or not because yeah. when we find ourselves in uh in, in parties we find ourselves in gatherings we find ourselves in, uh, in, 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 in places where we have to air our view or where, you know, where one or two things come in place. If, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just trying to picture the whole thing in my head. I am not, it's not sitting well with my psyche. 
many people have done it. Good luck to you if you've been doing it or you're about to do it. But for me, Grace, off the point, I can't do it. Because you will now start saying things like, your friend was this, your friend was that, your friend was this. You know the, the part that goes so bad? Women are naturally jealous. I know men are also jealous, but women actually showcase their own too, obviously. Now, things start coming up and you're like, so you could actually be this good. That is where the number one problem comes from. I don't know if, you, in fact, whether you agree with me or not, you know me. The truth is, you begin to say, oh, so you could actually be this vocal. You could actually be this romantic. You, you could actually be this caregiver. You mean you could actually help in doing the dishes and all. These were the things. Because the friendship of these two people will not break. Because you came into the picture. So, in one way or the other, you know, ladies always talk. They always chatter. They always discuss. So, friends come together and they're like, wow, my boyfriend is so sexy. And the girl will be like, wow. And that was the same sexiness I was looking for while I was still dating him in the relationship. Another thing comes up, it's like, how oh, my boyfriend... My boyfriend gives a whole lot of gifts and you're like who oh, you mean timothy you say yes timothy timothy like timothy surprises me at every instance and you're like wow timothy you go back to your corner and you become depressed again and that injury that is supposed to heal comes up again but the truth is you know like i said we are all everyone's ex except for few who happen to just come out and they they got it right now if your son's ex the the irony of life is the way a particular person treats one person definitely it might be your luck or your choice or how do i want to put it the person will not treat you that way some people learn better from former experiences so if timothy happened to be with esther and chiwendu maybe he treated esther wrongly now he has finally come to be with chiwendu now he's treating chiwendu rightly do you think this is going to sit well with the relationship between chiwendu and esther so these is actually where I'm bringing my own analysis from. So go ahead if you want to date your 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 sister's spouse, your business. If you want to date a friend, your 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 sister's uh, ex, fine. Your brother's ex, fine. You only. I'm just trying to make this analysis for you to know if this picture could actually go fine with you. So guys, I would like to hear your own opinion on this particular topic. You know, we are we we, we are all. They say we all have this knowledge in parts. This is the way I am actually making my own analysis. I don't know how your own analysis is going to come through. But I would like you to comment on my... Drop your comments. And I would like to, you know, hear from you to get your own point of view. Please do not forget to like. Do not forget to share. And do not forget to, you know, put on your notification button. So that you will be the first to always get the information whenever I drop a video. Thank you guys. It promises to be juicy next time. I remain your host, Grace Odoma. Bye for now. Bye.